Introduction to Creating and Executing a Program Hi Terry Hello Anita, welcome home Thanks Terry, hope you are very much interested in creating a program today Yes Anita, I'm quite curious about it Come on, let's get started I will teach you one of the basic testing programs using Python. I wanted to ask you this. How did Python become so popular? It is because it has an extensive variety of application domains. Python is intended to be a language that is easy to read and a well-formatted Python code is clean and uncluttered. Particularly, its simple and easy-to-use syntax makes it attractive to first-time developers like you. Another cool thing about it is, it is a free and open-source programming language. Okay, why it is named after the non-venomous snake called Python? Haha, <laughs> most people believe that the Python programming language is named after the snake. but it was named after the British surreal comedy group called Monty Python. Quite interesting, Anita. Who developed this program and why did he name it so? A Dutch programmer known as Guido van Rossum initially released it in 1991. Van Rossum loved following Monty Python plays, so he named the programming language as Python. Python has experienced impressive growth when compared to the other languages. The IEEE Spectrum ranks Python as the top language for 2018, for the second consecutive year. Okay, that has stirred up my curiosity. So tell me how to create and execute a program. Okay, Terry. Now I'll explain to you how to create a simple Python program and execute it. Creating and executing a program A program in Python is simply a text file written in a certain coding language. The code inside a program file is called the source code. IDLE, that is, Integrated Development and Learning Environment, is an integrated development environment, that is, IDE, for Python, which can be used to execute a single statement to large scripts. IDLE provides a fully featured text editor to create Python scripts that includes features like syntax highlighting, auto-completion, and smart indent. Where will I find it in my PC? Since this is Windows OS, to start IDLE Interactive Shell, search for the IDLE icon in the Start menu and double-click on it. It has two options or methods for running code, Interactive Mode and Script Mode. Interactive Mode provides us with a quick way of running blocks or a single line of Python code. The arrows indicate that the Python shell is ready to execute and send your commands to the Python interpreter. This mode is a command line shell, which gives immediate feedback or result for each statement. To run your Python statements, just type them and hit the Enter key. If you need to write a long piece of Python code or your Python script spans multiple files, Interactive mode is not recommended. Script mode is the best choice in such cases. In script mode, to create a program, open a new file and write the code and save the file to your computer with the extension .py without fail. It is same at .doc in MS Word, right? Yes, you are right, Terry. Now let me introduce a small Python program, Hello World. 
A Hello World program generally is a computer program that outputs or displays the message Hello World. The program is very simple and is often used to illustrate the basic syntax of a programming language. Hello World is the most famous program in the world. To start with in the Python shell, click on File menu and select New File. A new window named Untitled opens on screen. Another shortcut way to open the new file is pressing Ctrl N. The code for Hello World is add command as print and type the text to be displayed on the screen within the brackets. Then save the file with Python extension as .py. Now the only job is to execute the program. Okay, so how do we run this program? Click Run option from the menu, then select Run module to execute the program. You can also run the program by pressing F5 key. Some languages save a separate binary file that the computer can directly run, while other languages have their programs run indirectly by certain software. So Python comes under the second category. So the execution is also easy. The code we have written is just one line. Can we execute it in interactive mode? Yes, Terry. If you were to enter the code into the command line and press enter, the program will run and you will get the output like this. Wow, Anita. This is quite easy and simple. Conclusion Hope you got a fair idea about creating and executing a Python program. Yes, Anita. Now I'm planning to try on my own. That's a fantastic idea, Terry. Let me know if you need any help. I bought a new laptop yesterday. Will you help me to install Python in it? That's not a big deal. I will tell you how to install Python. That too sounds good. Before that, can you summarize what you have learned today? Summary Python is the popular high-level programming languages used in an extensive variety of application domains, and it is named after the British surreal comedy group called Monty Python by Van Rossum. Python program file is saved with the extension .py. There are two modes for running code in idle, interactive mode, script mode. And you also taught me the steps to create and execute a Python program in script mode. Good job, Terry. Thanks, Anita. Let's take a quick bite and get refreshed. Sounds good. Let's take a break and continue.